Wait a minute, you're the one from that video. What? What video? I have no idea what you're talking about. If this is a prank, just go away. I'm not in the mood for it. Oh, come on. The video of you changing your clothes in the bathroom. It's been making the rounds online. Everyone's been talking about it now. Wow, you still got it, Grandma. Hello. I'm Emma. And let me share with you about the time I miraculously dodged a bullet thanks to my mother-in-law Linda inadvertently catching it with her own actions and decisions. It was during our latest family trip. We would often have these outings that became a treasured tradition in our family since they served as a reminder to reconnect and bridge the gaps that naturally formed due to our busy separate lives. While we weren't as close-knit as some families, these trips offered a chance to create memories together, strengthen our bonds, and foster a sense of unity. But truth be told, my husband Joshua and I weren't exactly jumping with excitement. You see, spending time with Joshua's mother Linda wasn't always the most joyous of experiences. She had a knack for finding ways to dampen the mood to get things her way, which made the idea of family bonding slightly daunting. Guess what, everyone? It's almost time for our family trip! Her eyes sparkled with excitement, but Joshua and I exchanged knowing glances, unable to hide our mixed feelings. We were subtly showing signs that weren't as eager to partake in it anymore, but my mother-in-law seemed to be determined in upholding the tradition Ah, uh, the tradition continues. You know, mom, I've always suspected that your mom purposefully created this tradition just to annoy us every now and then. We chuckled at Joshua's joke, but there was a hint of truth behind his words. The family outings had become a peculiar blend of joy, frustration, and undeniable entertainment. As we sat down to discuss our plans, I couldn't help but express my concerns to Joshua. I know we should be excited about the trip, but you know how Linda can be. I hope this time she'll act differently, but I can't help feeling a bit wary. I know, Emma. We have had our fair share of challenging moments with her, but perhaps this trip can be an opportunity for us to create some positive memories together. Let's go into it with an open mind and try to make the best of it, okay? But before we could embark on our grand adventure, there was a crucial task at hand, finding the perfect accommodation for us. The decision to have separate accommodation from my mother-in-law was not only to ensure personal space, but also to provide a buffer for our own sanity. We hoped that having our own room would allow us to recharge, regroup, and indulge in our own interests without feeling suffocated. Hours turn to days as we scoured numerous websites, diligently searching for the ideal Airbnb. Our requirements were clear, a place that complements the tranquility of the coastal settings and offers breathtaking views and modern amenities. Finally, amidst our meticulous research, we stumbled upon a gem, Sunset Serenity. Josh, I think I found the ideal place for us on our family trip. It's called Sunset Haven and it looks absolutely incredible. You won't believe the stunning photos. Show me. We huddled together and checked the Airbnb listing. It was kind of pricey, but with everything it can offer, it seemed to be reasonably priced. With our hearts set on Sunset Haven, we eagerly made the book secure in the knowledge that this accommodation would be the perfect background for our family adventure. As days ticked by, our conversations were filled with dreams of sandcastles, delicious seafood feasts, and laughter shared beneath the night sky. Finally, the day of our departure arrived. The car was packed to the brim with suitcases and beach gear. As we stepped foot into the carefully selected and stunning Airbnb, my mother-in-law Linda accompanied us and looked around the place. Wow, what a stunning place! Excellent choice! I know, right? Joshua and I spent days finding the perfect place and here it is. Yeah, you know what, dear? I think I'll be staying here instead. It's just too appealing to resist. 
Her tone was carrying an air of entitlement as usual. Joshua and I were surprised and caught off guard by Linda's sudden declaration. Mom, I don't understand. You have your own booking. Why would you want to take ours? What about your own room? Well, dear, this place is much more suited for me. Look how luxurious it is. You two can manage with the other one. Now hurry along. But Linda, we specifically chose our B&B because it suited our preferences. We were really looking forward to staying here. Mom, can we stick to our original arrangements? Emma booked this year B&B for us. It wouldn't be fair to change plans now. Joshua, I thought we are a family. I thought you cared about your mother's comfort. I'm just feeling weak and fragile these days, and I need somewhere comfortable to rest. There it is, her talent of emotionally manipulating her own son. And after everything I've done for you since you were little, Joshua, can't you do this one thing for your dear old mother? How could you sleep at night knowing that you refused your mother's wishes? It was a tactic Linda had employed countless times before appealing to his sympathy and making him question his choices. Alright, fine, mother. I guess we can stay in the room you originally booked, just this t one time, okay? Then no more. We didn't want to rock the boat or spoil the atmosphere because it was impossible to win against her and we know we will just be wasting our breath if we try to fight it. So we reluctantly agreed to vacate our Airbnb and relocate to Linda's original room. As we entered the room, a wave of disappointment washed over us. It was clear that Linda had intentionally chosen a less than comfortable option, knowing full well that she would be forcing us to vacate it later. The room was crammed with dated furniture and musty udder that permitted the air. The bed sagged in the middle and the worn-out mattresses offered little support. The bathroom was small and outdated, with a leaky faucet and a shower that barely produced a trickle of water. It's so different from the Airbnb we had initially booked and the realization sank in that we were in for an uncomfortable stay. I'm not going to lie, I think my mother booked this room just to inconvenience us. This might be the worst reviewed room there is in the app. You think? I wouldn't put it past her. She's always found ways to assert control and make everything about herself. We spent the first night tossing and turning on the lumpy mattress, the springs creaking with every movement. We already knew that the lack of good sleep will take its toll and leave us groggy and irritable the next morning. Throughout our stay, we encountered numerous inconveniences. The unreliable Wi-Fi connection made it challenging to stay connected with the outside world, and the constant noise from neighboring rooms disrupted any chance of peace and quiet. Little did we know that our uncomfortable compromises would soon pale in comparison to the challenges my mother-in-law is yet to experience. The morning after the unexpected room switcheroo, we were determined to make the most out of our family vacation. The day unfolded like a picture-perfect postcard with laughter echoing along the shore, sand between our toes and the gentle caress of ocean waves. As we soaked in the joy of the moment, Linda decided to quench her thirst at a beachside kiosk. However, her excitement turned to mortification as her card was declined. I'll have the pineapple mango smoothie um, and make it quick. That will be $5.95. Uh, sorry ma'am, <clears throat> uh, but it's been declined. Linda's face flushed with embarrassment as nearby beachgoers turned their heads towards her way. <laughs> uh, what? That's impossible. Try it again. I'm sure there must be some mistake here. The cashier tried to swipe it again as per her request. No mistake, ma'am. Your card has been declined. Do you have another form of payment? Feeling a mixture of frustration and humiliation, Linda quickly retreated and approached Joshua. Joshua, can I have a sip of your drink? Uh, mom, you know you can buy your own, right? There is a stall right there. Linda emptied Joshua's drink, not leaving an ounce of it for him. 
I tried to, but my card allegedly declined. Are you sure everything's alright with your finances, mom? Maybe we should check it out later. It's fine. I think the cashier is a new hire and is not familiar with handling cards like mine. I didn't want to waste a breath on him, so I left him. Embarrassment and annoyance etched on Linda's face and caught the attention of a passerby who stared intently trying to place where he had seen her before. Wait a minute, you're the one from that video. Linda's eyes widened, her face turning pale as the stranger's words hung in the air. What video? I have no idea what you're talking about. If this is a prank, just go away. I'm not in the mood for it. Oh, come on. The video of you changing clothes in the bathroom. It's been making the rounds online. Everyone's been talking about it. Wow, you still got it, Grandma. Linda exchanged nervous glances with Joshua, obviously distressed. Hey, stop that. That's not funny. My mother would never do anything like that. You must be mistaken. Well... I'm not trying to cause trouble, and I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but she really looks like the person in the video. Here, take a look for yourself. Joshua reluctantly glanced at the screen, his brows furrowing as he saw the footage of a person changing clothes in what appeared to be a bathroom. Linda's eyes widened with the realization. It truly was her. Joshua's heart sank as he recognized it as well and immediately removed his eyes from the screen. However, determined to protect her from further embarrassment, he decided to act as if he hadn't noticed. Uh, yeah, sure, the resemblance is uncanny, but it's not her. Are you sure? It really looks like her. I'm positive, trust me, it's just a coincidence. You should really be careful before you accuse a stranger of that. Joshua glared at the stranger, sending a clear message to back off. The passerby muttered an apology and quickly went his own way. We hurried back to her Airbnb, trying to make sense of the unsettling revelation. Joshua's protective instincts kicked in and decided to investigate further. He meticulously searched the room, inspecting every nook and cranny, hoping to find answers to the disturbing revelation. As he reached the bathroom, Joshua's eyes caught a glimpse of something unusual. A small screw in the corner seemed out of place, and upon closer inspection, he noticed a tiny lens hidden within it. The entire bathroom was riddled with hidden cameras, cleverly disguised, to capture every angle, every intimate moment, without their knowledge or consent. There's, there's a hidden camera there, and also there. Someone's been spying on you. I'm pretty sure they also used it to gather sensitive information like your car details. That's why I declined earlier. Linda, already shaken by the recent turn of events, felt a surge of fear coursing through her veins. Oh my! How would someone do this? My life is officially ruined. I don't deserve this at all. They should have spied on you two! We didn't mind her nonsense and borderline offensive remarks anymore, thinking that it was just due to her panic. So, with a renewed sense of urgency, we quickly gathered her belongings, leaving behind the room that had become a haunting nightmare of the violation she had experienced. Linda's face turned pale with horror as she realized the predicament she had put herself in. She now had to endure the less than comfortable room she had initially booked. Linda couldn't help but cringe at the sight and feel of the supper space. She tried to walk into the outdated kitchenette hoping to prepare a simple meal to suit her frustration. However, that plan was immediately scraped as she saw the lack of proper utensils and the limited selection of ingredients. She attempted to relax and read a book instead, but the dim lighting and the musty smell of the room only added to her growing frustration. She simply let out a sigh, knowing what the family outing had become for her, very far from one would have imagined. Feeling trapped and resentful, Linda had no choice but to retreat into the confines of the room, refusing to venture outside. She was too embarrassed to face the world given the recent humiliating and creepy incident she now found herself in. Meanwhile, Joshua and I wasted no time preparing for our next adventure while we were still on our vacation. You're still going out? 
Are you really going to leave me here in this dump? Your mother is all alone, Joshua. It feels like the whole world is against me. Mom, we have planned and funded these activities in advance. It would be a waste if we didn't go. Besides, you can always come with us if you want to. We never intended to leave you behind. No thanks. Go ahead and have fun without me, your own mother. I guess I'm just here to ruin everything. Joshua was aware of the underlying intent behind Linda's words and chose not to engage in the passive aggressiveness and grill tripping she deployed once again. Instead, he decided to play it off as if he didn't catch the subtext and pretended to misunderstand Linda's words. Thank you, Mom. I knew you would understand. You too, okay? There are a lot of fun things you can do here. Surely you booked this for a reason. So Linda stayed behind while Joshua and I ventured into the vibrant world outside. She watched enviously from the window and witnessed Joshua and my carefree spirit. I hope all that time alone in that supper room gave her enough opportunity to reflect on how she treated genuine joy for a momentary sense of entitlement. Linda's days became a monotonous cycle of waiting and yearning for the vacation to end. She had nothing else to do but to argue with the bank's agent regarding the financial fraud on her card. The discomfort of the room coupled with her isolation took a toll on her spirit while Joshua and my adventure had been filled with laughter. Even as one of the most confident individuals, karma had a way to humble my mother-in-law. To Linda, now you know that the grass isn't always greener on the other room.